Welcome to the last screencast on trees, and today we'll be discussing Huffman trees. Huffman trees are a way of encoding symbols into codes based upon the frequency of the symbols in the text or the document or the thing you're trying to encode. Here's an example Huffman tree that encodes the lowercase letters and the space character based upon the frequency uh, that these letters occur in English text. So what are Huffman trees? They're a binary tree. All the data is in the leaves. The inner nodes don't contain any symbols. They just hold the values or provide structure for the tree. The leaves of higher in the tree have shorter codes because the traversal to the leaf is the code. And basically the code is based upon the traversal from the root to the leaf, so leaves higher in the tree have shorter codes. They also have, the, the way we construct the Huffman tree is the leaves higher in the tree have a higher frequency. Since they have a higher frequency and a shorter code, we gain compression if we use Huffman codes to store the data. So for example, the character E Huffman code is 010 because we traverse from the root. We go to the left, which is 0. We go to the right, which is 1. We go to the left, E. Similarly, B is 100000 because we go to the right and then we traverse left until we finally reach the leaf B. So B does not occur as often in English text as E, so E has a shorter um, hash code or Huffman code. Each code is unique because each leaf has a unique traversal through the tree, so we don't have any duplicates, so we can easily encode and decode the characters because they are unique, and there's only one possible way to get to each character. And the average code length, if you take the average of all the, the heights in this tree, is about 5.7, 5 and, 5 and if you use an in Huffman code, a, it's going to be shorter than ASCII because ASCII is eight characters for each thing. And B, since the higher frequency characters have shorter codes, we gain even better compression because the shorter codes will occur more often in our encoded data. So here's the symbol table from Donald Knuth. Um, he did a calculation for these lowercase characters in English text, and this is the information we'll be using. So how do we build a Huffman tree? Our binary tree node now needs to keep two pieces of information, the symbol and the weight of the tree that exists. So the weight of each root node will be the sum or will be the sum of all the of the subtrees. Well, the sum of the two left and right subtree. Leaf nodes hold the symbols, inner nodes just have the combined weights of their left and right subtree. And we'll use a priority queue to construct the tree because we're going to pull out the lowest frequency symbols or tree first. So here's new. the algorithm is to build the root nodes. So you start with each node, each symbol, and you take their symbols or their, the symbol and the weight. You place the, all these nodes into a minimum priority queue because we want to pull the lowest frequency items first to build the tree. And then while the priority queue has more than one item, you remove the two lowest trees with the smallest weight. You combine them into a new tree that has the root with a combined weight of the left and right subtree. And then you add the tree back into the priority queue. So eventually you're going to build to get to the point where the priority queue only has one tree in it, and that is the Huffman tree. So let's do a simple example using A, B, C, D, E and the frequencies from the table. So we built our root nodes right here. We stick them into a priority queue, and you notice that B and C, or B is the lowest frequency, so it's the first item in the priority queue. So we pull the two lowest frequency items out. We combine them together into a tree. Notice the tree's weight is the sum of the left subtree and the right subtree. We then insert that tree back into our priority queue. And so the 35 is now the second least in the queue. Pull them out, combine them, insert, pull them out, combine them, 
insert. I had to move my priority queue because it wouldn't fit on the slide. Pull them out, combine them, insert, and now there's only one tree in my priority queue, so I have built my Huffman tree. That's why I'm done. So my Huffman tree looks like the tree on the right, and you can see the codes for each of the symbols, and you notice that E, the highest Frequency has the shortest code. A has a short code also. D and then B and C have the same length code. And each code is unique, so you can tell when you reach a particular node or a symbol. So if you go to zero, you get to E. If you go right and then left, you're at A. If you continue right, you get to uniques until you get to the last one, which is all rights, which is a C. So what are some of the benefits of using the Huffman code? It's an easy way to compress text. You calculate the frequency of the symbols, you build the Huffman tree, you encode the symbols, and you save the Huffman tree and, and the encoded text in their file, and it will be smaller than using ASCII or um, Unicode just because you have Use short codes for the characters that appear most in your text. Thank you very much for your attention.